Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your Vintage Beauties and today is Thursday. That means we have jewelry lots for sale. Today is a little bit different because not only we have contemporary custom jewelry lots, but we also have silver. I accumulated a lot of um, tiny silver items, tiny bracelets, maybe... Um, you know like earrings and stuff like that so it's not worth for me listing so i uh, put together some lots a few items they're not five dollars a baggie they're different i will be telling you the price uh contemporary custom jewelry will still five dollars a baggie now if you like any lots and you would like to purchase please email me at your vintage beauties at gmail.com with a lot number contemporary jewelry they are uh, no, regular numbers one two three four five and so on silver baggies will be starting with s s1 s2 and so on and i will be telling you the price for the baggie i try to price them equally in the sense of depending on how uh, many items and what is the weight of the silver I, um, of course, measure it with my scale for our precious metals. All right, so without further ado, we have a lot of uh, lots today. So let's get started with silver. All right, so this one is S1, silver lot one. In this, um, in this one, we have three items. One is a silver chain with uh, smoky quartz silver and all the items I tested myself if oh my goodness I have like scrapies paintings <laughs> all the items I um, tested myself if when you receive anything and by any means if you think it's not silver but I I tested and retested and over tested it don't don't ever hesitate to contact me okay i'm very approachable all right so this um s1 contains this uh smoky quartz and when i was weighing it i did not of course weigh this uh silver chain smoky quartz next is a simple chain silver of course with a pendant also silver that says family on one side and i did not clean any of my silver jewelry some of my uh, silver items are tarnished i prefer not to do that and you guys can decide for yourself because like this one if, whether you want to clean it or not so silver chain with a pendant family and the next one is another silver chain with pearls i think i think four pearls and some glass beads not really sure all right so these three chains is going to be for all of this twenty dollars moving on to s2 There are two chains right here. One is a chain with this pendant. Let me show you closer. Right here, it's a kind of a religious theme. Second pendant also with crucifix. Let me, while we're staying on right here. Silver crucifix on the silver chain. Here we go. And I'm not going to show, just to save time, I'm not going to show you all closer all these stampings because I already tested and retested. For these two chains, this is S2, We I'm going to ask $12. All right, moving on to S3. This one is also $20. And this lot includes... This beautiful silver necklace and the pendant. 
it is kind of like a bird's cage and a bird is right here it's not movable it's kind of stuck here like it's flying out of the cage so this one and uh, a pair of silver earrings with carved face right here okay so this is twenty dollars all right as for this one will be twenty five dollars all right probably not gonna take everything out of the baggies oh trying to save some time so this one includes this silver bracelet with this beautiful kind of cabochon transfer i think it includes a pair of these silver earrings right here i did not again you see they're pretty tarnished so some people like it this way some don't but i didn't want to clean it so here we go pair of earrings and again this is all by weight all of this that i'm putting right here is about 20 19 20 grams of uh, silver um, then i have in this lot i have a beautiful silver butterfly or moth um, necklace and a pendant when, on a beautiful beautiful chain look how um, sparkly this chain is right here everything is silver here okay And the last item in, is a pendant, right here, a silver pendant. All right, so all of this, lot number four, S4, $25. All right, let's move on to S5. This one is almost 22 grams, also $25. This one includes first of all it includes this necklace silver necklace on a silver chain um, silver pendant beautiful hat silver hat pair of silver earrings hoops here and a bracelet silver bracelet with cloisonne and some beads okay so this one is S5, $25. All right, next one is S6. This also 21 or even I think 22 grams, $25. This lot includes bigger and heavier silver hoops. They also tarnish, need, might need a little bit of cleaning. It will include a chain, silver chain with a silver pendant, boot, skate boot, and one more pendant, um, a ball, soft ball, ball. <laughs> yep, here we go. All right, so this one uh, were pretty heavy because of the earrings and um, this pendant. It's pretty heavy. It's not a hollow pendant. All right. So this is lot number six, $25. All right, lot number seven, this one is $12. What do we have in this lot? Let me take a look. Okay, so we have a silver necklace with the heart and the mom. The, the heart says mom and is uh, three CZs right here. Okay, pair of silver earrings with kind of faceted beads. I think they're glass. There we go. And one more pendant that you can exchange. It's a flower with a CZ. Okay, this one's lot seven. $12. Moving on to lot number S8. 
this one is $18. The reason why this one is uh, 5 grams but, only, uh, but $18 is because Crucifix has a diamond in it. So here's a chain, silver chain with the silver, silver cross, Crucifix. And it seems like there are four diamonds in it, but those are illusion diamonds. There's only one real diamond. As you can see, it's right here. Diamond and three are illusions. So it's tested and verified by my jeweler. This is a diamond. So, um, and um, also in this lot are a pair of uh, sterling earrings. Silver 925 earrings with a tourmaline. That's tested by me. All right. This one is S8, $18. Next one is S9, 12 grams, $18. All right. So this lot includes very beautiful necklace, silver necklace with a heart. Right, Valentine's are coming, pretty new, not tarnished, two-sided, okay, pretty heavy. Then this lot includes a pair of silver earrings, seahorses, here we go, and one more locket, pendant. Where is it? Somewhere right here, stamp. Right here, silver pendant locket. Okay. All right, so this one is S9, $18. All right, and the last silver lot is S10. This one is $12. In this lot, we have Also, a crucifix, silver chain, silver crucifix, but this crucifix has CZs. I think they're CZs, yeah. Okay. Next, another chain, silver chain with a silver kind of like, I don't know, heartbeat maybe. And um, last but not least is a silver chain with a silver locket and also has a cross on it. Yeah, it's pretty, very pretty locket. Oh, I have a hard time opening it with my nails. Sorry, guys. All right. So this is S10, $12. All right, so these are all the silver lots. This is all the silver silver lots. Now we're going to be moving on to our contemporary. But before we move on to the contemporary jewelry, um, I have a lot. Okay, let me show you the number. This lot is number 32. This one is $15. This lot consists of all the Alex and Annie bracelets that I have. One, let's see, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Alex and Annie bracelets for $15. Okay, so this one is lot number 32, okay? All right, so let's get started with our costume jewelry lot. All right, let's take a look what we have in our lot number one. Okay, just a reminder, the lots are available to purchase here on YouTube until Friday night on Saturday morning. Friday night or Saturday morning, I will be, whatever is not sold on YouTube, I will be uploading them to my whatnot auction list 
so I can hold the auction on uh, whatnot on Saturday. I do it at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, so I need all the lots to be entered there. If you want to know what lots are available besides what I'm showing you today, um, feel free to go to my whatnot auction and take a look what I have there in, in my shop under the auction tab. If you want to know how to get to my whatnot shop, it, um, the link is in the description box below. Okay, let's get going. All right, lot number one. What do we have here? Here I have a seed bead necklace. Well, not a seed bead actually, <laughs> a brown um, necklace with a beautiful, beautiful shell and it overlaid with a metal. I'm not really sure. I didn't test test it. Um, I'm not sure if it's silver or not. I haven't tested it. Pair of shell earrings. I think it looks beautiful together. It looks like they belong together. Look at this. Pretty much the same color. Shell stretchy bracelet. Shell and um, natural chips. I think it's tiger eye and maybe jasper necklace another necklace a silver tone multi-stranded new york i believe yes new york with different color colors um faceted beads and black beads that just looked good by the color kind of one more necklace also silver tone with different faceted beads different colored faceted beads there we go and i think one more necklace this one is gold tone no maker right here beautiful also thing kind of like plastic but reminds me of kind of a shell all right so this one is lot number one lot number two gold and black first is gold tone necklace with black beads dangly ones pair of black clip-on earrings i fixed them here we go they all fixed i think they'll look really good with this they kind of faceted with the same way okay necklace Stretchy bracelet with black plastic roses. Gold fits in very well. One more um, necklace, black plastic beads, uh, very vintage, I believe, with gold beads in between. One more necklace, gold tone and black plastic beads pair of gold tone hoops and a chain just a simple gold tone chain and just to make it you know kind of tight tie this lot together and there are stars and right here it says j z j all right two strands this one is lot number two next is lot number three this one is white first i have this necklace white shells and white seed beads Next necklace is a silver tone with white roses and four pearls. Next is a four pearl uh, choker. 
two pairs of earrings. One are dangly earrings. And the other ones are half a white hoops. Half, a ho half hoops. White color. Next I added a simple but beautiful silver tone chain. Flat chain. Um, it is... Oh, let's see what it says. Monet. And the last one is a silver tone brooch. Okay. And actually one more item in this is a gold and silver tone chain. Banana Republic with two leaves. Gold tone and silver tone. All right. So now this is lot number three. All right, next one is lot number five. I believe this is my green lot. All right, first we have this beautiful green necklace. A pair of this gorgeous gold tone and uh, greenish kind of uh, enamel earrings. necklace with beautiful green i think they're glass green beads and dragonfly silver tone necklace with green and brownish blue side beads Couple stretchy bracelet, brownish and greenish, will uh, look beautiful with all this set. And then silver tone chain with kind of a lucite colors, faux, um, I would say faux tortoiseshell um, pendant. And one more necklace, silver tone chain with a dragonfly right here to just finish our dragonfly theme all right this is lot number five next is lot number six also black lot first i have graduated beautiful black um beads uh, bead necklace beaded necklace pretty long graduated black beads Next is two stranded necklace, gunmetal chain. Oh, actually, three stranded gunmetal chain with um, beads that knotted in between. Here, three strands. One more necklace. This one does not have a closure. This one's over the head. I am not really sure what it's made of, but it's pretty hefty and cold to the touch. Two pair of earrings, one are plastic, black earrings, dangle earrings, and the other one silver and black enamel hoops on the larger side. Stretchy bracelet. This one is kind of rubberized links are here silver tone with rhinestones. And This necklace, absolutely gorgeous necklace, silver tone, pearls and black, um, faux pearls and black um, kind of tiny cabochons. This one has a lobster claw. Okay. This is lot number six. Lot number seven, pearls. Um, kind of are on the yellowish side. First, I have a string of really beautiful um, faux pearls, I think. Yeah, they're faux, faux pearls. I would think there might be like glass. Um, they're done very well with knots in between. 
Next, pearls are on the yellowish side, faux pearls, just uh, kind of a string of uh, faux pearls. Then I have added this choker, gold tone closure, extender, and kind of a flower crocheted choker. Then I added this brooch of flowers, it fits really good with this choker. Two pair of earrings, gold tone flowers, and the other ones are faux pearls. This chunky gold tone bracelet. And last one is gold tone chain. Very simple, but very beautiful. Gold tone chain, no make a mark with faux pearls. I like kind of dangly pearl pearls. All right, this one is lot number seven. Next is lot number nine. This one is kind of a pearly and a silvery. First is this silver tone for pearls and faceted, really beautiful faceted bead necklace. Okay. Clamper, silver tone with rhinestones. This beautiful choker, silver tone with the hook. One more sil um, necklace right here with rhinestones, beautiful necklace. And the bracelet. Here. Necklace that comes to a V and a bracelet. Pair of clip on earrings. One more silver tone and rhinestone necklace. we go a very simple silver tone bracelet very simple silver tone and rhinestones um, fold over clasp it reminds me a little bit of um, tennis bracelet okay and last will be silver tone chain with a very simple um, rhinestone crystal okay so this one is lot number nine next in order is lot number 11 this one is gold tone and rhinestones So first in this lot, I have this absolutely gorgeous gold tone and rhinestones chain. Gorgeous. This one is, here we go. This is a maker mark. I honestly don't know who it is. Okay, this one. Then I have... This gold tone chain, two stranded. Two strands. One is hammered, kind of half a disc, and maybe, I don't know, half moon. This beautiful gold tone and rhinestones bracelet. It reminds me of tennis bracelet. This bigger uh, Bengal bracelet. Okay. Then I have two pair of earrings. One are dangly earrings with um, crystals, CZs, I think, or yeah, I think those are CZs. And um, stud earrings, absolutely gorgeous, new, right here. 
so we see these and a couple necklaces one is gold tone chain necklace this one is loft right here and another one is let me take a look and and climb really beautiful all right i think this is it this is a lot number 11. next is lot number 13. well this lot also has some religious items but it also has some items well i call this actually a lot sentimental so let me let me show you why first of all there are two rosaries they're glass rosaries one is kind of a white and the other one is on a brownish side with um crosses and one cross has um kind of gold tone cross on it right here they're with the tag they are each ten dollars and fifty cents you, you um american and 189 mexican so yeah here it is two glass rosaries then i included this necklace with the serenity prayer remember we just uh, found it recently on one side it says serenity prayer on the other side are praying hands gorgeous necklace then i added a necklace um, this one is on the card it does have a like pineapple on it, it says be truly glad there is a wonderful joy ahead a uh, peter one six so this one then i added this uh, beautiful chain with hamsa few bracelets like this just to kind of fit in with the hamsa necklace and a stretchy bracelet that says be kind then i included uh, mom number one because it's a sentimental lot they then i included another chain a gold tone chain let me see this one says dreamy and it does have a pendant and that says mama and the last one uh still new still in the card kind of a doggy um tag it says to my son and it's a very very uh sentimental kind of nice uh thing i want you to believe deep in your heart as a, like really cool kind of message to a son all right this is lot number 13. next lot is number 16. i think this one is kind of bluish let's see yes this one is a blue lot first in this lot are this absolutely gorgeous i think necklace um, gold tone with different uh, faceted beads and clear rhinestones oh my goodness here we go right here gorgeous all the rhinestones are here i don't think it has a make a mark no it doesn't have a make a mark so right here we have a necklace number one then we have a second necklace also with blue rhinestones this one i believe vintage oh my goodness fold over uh fold over clasp blue rhinestones and it comes down to kind of like a bow gorgeous stretchy bracelet also on the blue side faceted beads one more necklace um this one has a uh, kind of brassy chain with uh, faceted um, dingly beads plastic beads beautiful blue one more stretchy bracelet with also hamsa a pair of druzy 
earrings stud earrings simple silver tone necklace this one is let's take a look sarah coventry right here this one sarah coventry and last is a silver tone chain with the pendant hold on pendant just fell off the pendant is a beautiful uh turtle with the blue cabochon okay silver tone chain with a turtle okay this lot is number 16. all right now we're jumping to lot number 26 this is my blue lot we have a few plastic necklaces with bluish kind of beads three three strands we have a this kind of hair ties or stretchy bracelets whatever you want to use them for silver tone kind of a necklace with this beautiful a uh, little bit reminds me of melifiori bead or maybe like eyes like many eyes looking glass bead very simple but beautiful silver tone bracelet and right here it has um rhinestones in the middle few links have rhinestones let me see if there are any maker mark no i don't think i see any maker marks okay okay bracelet two pairs of earrings one are post earrings blue and ones are very very light blue kind of like a sky blue uh dangle earrings stretchy bracelet with blue beads and silver tone chain with a beautiful kind of uh, pendant that looks like um, a deer maybe with blue cabochon all right this is lot number 26 all right let's next lot is not number 28 this one's pretty hefty kind of a bronzy color lot first i have this necklace um, this one is loft gorgeous necklace next i have kind of a brutalist chain necklace next one is a silver tone necklace with oh let's see where is the beginning of this one I think it's like this. I think it's like this. It's a faceted beads and different. Um, this one's. I think it's wood, actually. Yeah. Okay. Pair of gorgeous earrings. Bronzy color. Dangle earrings. Pierced ears beautiful bracelet leaves um, no uh, maker mark but it's kind of a bronzy color inside and black and bronzy leaves um, outside one more bronzy necklace with a i don't think there's a maker mark no no maker mark and there is a loved pendant with a blue rhinestone a bronzy coppery kind of necklace chain this one is 
beautiful flower pendant and the last one is a string of um, glass beads they're just to wear and they always tangle with it um, yeah I'm not gonna wait, uh, spend time right now and tangle them I'll do it later but these are glass brownish glass beads it's pretty long Ay ay ay, they always do that. There we go. They untangle very um, easy. Pretty long one string of those glass beads, kind of candy looking like. Okay. This one is lot number 28. Moving on to lot number 29, our Valentine lot. It's pink. First, I am including this set that we recently found together. Gold tone chain with this lucite, I think, pendant with a 3D flower and and um, screw backs so lucite pendant lucite screw back earrings gorgeousness string of um, real pearls we can test it again so see let, let me scratch it better Right here, see the scratch? When I wipe it, scratch goes away. Real pearls. Of course, how can be our Valentine lot without a heart? So we have a gold tone, maybe kind of goldish brownish uh, color chain tone with a heart, enameled heart. This beautiful necklace, very interesting. Pinkish cord or pink purplish cord with this tassel. Next is a silver tone chain with a pendant that has a glass cabochon. I think it's a double, yeah. It's two-stranded chain, two-stranded chain with this pendant here, this glass. Gorgeous stretchy bracelet. Look at this pink. It's very, very uh, cute pink color. Next, I have a pair of these dangle earrings with pearls, faux pearl, pink, and faceted beads. And the last item in this lot is this beautiful seed bead necklace, multi-stranded seed bead necklace. Okay, lot number 29. Moving on to lot number 30. First, we have this necklace that we just received from ThreadUp. Beautiful necklace. Now, I added to, to it another necklace. Also, it's kind of a bronzish color with, I would say, enamel maybe. Um, beads with this um, pendant this is glass I will add this ring but I mean it's only because it looks it's same enamel like on every other item in this lot I'm adding this crocheted choker Two pair of earrings. One are dangle earrings and the other one are post earrings. 
also the same enamel beige looks really good uh, more pair of clip-ons that they have enameled flowers and green kind of a colored leaf there we go then i wanted to add this illusion necklace with these are real pearls freshwater pearls illusion necklace and this bracelet that we just recently found because it's the same color you know that fits very well in this lot this one is new york and company leather full leather bracelet and uh, gold tone flowers this one is lot number 30. all right and the last one for today is lot number 33. this is my pearly lot First is a string of gorgeous faux pearls that knotted in between. Yeah, faux pearls. They're knotted in between. Then I'm adding the string of this uh, faux pearls and the gold tone necklace. Gorgeous necklace, very interesting, very unique with this uh, beautiful uh, closure, like a heart. Then I'm adding the, a string of a faux pearls with this gorgeous pendant. Okay. Then I'm adding a pair of these beautiful stud earrings. Uh, one more for pearl um, strands necklace, multi-stranded. Uh, this one is very light. One more string of four pearls. Graduated. Then I'm adding gold tone necklace. Um, multi-stranded let me see no maker mark yeah no maker mark multi-stranded gold tone necklace and kind of a silver tone tubes right here i'm trying to uh straighten it up so you guys can see how it look like okay and to um kind of uh, complete the lot I added this gold tone very bright gold tone bracelet all right so this one will be lot number 33 all right this is the last lot for today I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you're interested in purchasing any Please email me at yourvintagebeauties at gmail.com with the lot number. Remember that uh, custom jewelry lots are just a regular number, silver lots um, starting with the letter S. I hope you like my lots because I put a lot of love into them when I'm putting them together. Hopefully they are pleasing to you guys, to the eye and look gorgeous. And I will see you next time, hopefully most likely on Saturday. Well, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.